Now where technology meets human needs, Reichman University's MA in Human-Computer Interaction stands at the forefront of innovation, equipping students with the tools to turn academic insight into impactful user-centered design and bridging the gap between research and real-world product development. We're now joined by Professor Oren Zuckerman, the head and founder of MeLab, to hear more about this innovative program. Thank you for joining us. Pleasure to be here. So for those that are unfamiliar with the MA in Human Computer Interaction, what is it exactly? And what sets this program ap apart from others in the field, both in Israel and internationally? So human computer interaction is a field that in industry is known as user experience, product design, or product management. It's a field that really bridges between psychology and human behavior and technology and how we use apps, robotic devices, wearable devices, and all of the other technologies around us. Our program is unique because it really bridges between psychology with experts in cognitive and social psychology, experts in technology from mobile development to AR and VR to robotic devices, and integrating everything into a successful business application. Mm -hmm. Now, the HCI program is known for its hands-on approach, mm -hmm. enabling students to take what they learn and apply it to real life. Yeah. How does it successfully bridge the gap between academic theory and industry-ready practice? So we're very proud in the way that we bridge this gap, and we do it in several ways. First of all, classes are not the standard class of a teacher-student you know, presentation. It's a hands-on prototyping activity. We have very advanced labs for robotic prototyping or for mobile prototyping using software devices. But we don't stop there, we really integrate our students' experience into industry with a practicum experience, for example, the top growing startup companies in Israel that everybody hears about all about from all of the huge successes, take our students for two days a week, working with them, mentoring them, and really assimilating the student in the day-to-day -day activity of product teams in industry. Now, with AI swiftly transforming the tech industry as it's transforming almost every industry, yes. how does the HCI program equip students to adapt to the ever-evolving environment? So that's an excellent question that we also ask ourselves every day because, indeed, the changes are so rapid. And what we see right now is that AI is becoming a thinking partner and a doing partner for people. So first of all, the students learn how to think together with the AI service. So it can be ChatGPT that everybody knows, but so many other services that we teach them how to use to increase their creative thinking, their analysis abilities, their market research ability. And then we shift to the building partner. So you want to build a prototype, you want to design a new app. The AI services today can help you prototype without any knowledge in coding. So if in previous years students had to learn coding in order to become competitive, Right now, they can use what's called vibe coding or prompt coding in order to create a functional app. Being a designer, being a product manager without coming into the program with the relevant technical skills. Wow, sounds fascinating. Yeah, it, we think it's also going to really change innovation pace. So we're going to see more and more innovation coming out from Israel. So it's very encouraging and wonderful that we already, already have all of the successes of the growth companies and we're going to see more of it. Professor Oren Zuckerman, thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me.